If I lost that eyeliner, I am actually going to scream. <laughs> Hi, hello, welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm out of breath. I'm your host, Courtney Quarantine, and I am a full-time content creator, variety streamer, makeup artist, and today I'm gonna get into some soft grunge makeup. If you're interested in makeup tutorials, consider subscribing. I come on here and yap and do makeup tutorials on here. If you're interested in like gaming or any of my other content or my photography or what have you, it will be linked in the description box down below. If you're returning, Yay, bestie. Thanks so much for being here. I'm gonna do a kind of soft grunge part two, on here at least. I've been doing soft grunge looks for, I don't know, a long time. I don't know, we're gonna ignore what's going on with my hair until the end, okay? This is a trust the process. We also could ignore the fact that I'm wearing this strange kind of layer. I don't know, okay? I'm trying new things with not just wearing a boring t-shirt every day, okay? We'll, we'll, we'll see how I like it at the end. If I still hate it at the end, then I will change. Anyway, I swear to God, oh my God. Oh, okay, I was looking for this specifically, this Melt Waterline, Slick Waterline. Do I call it something different every time? The Slick Waterline Eye Pencil in Rich Brown. Oh my God, I thought I didn't have it for a moment. Woo, but hi, hello, how are you? My God, it's hot in here. So hot in here. Why did I put socks on today? I'm like getting ready for fall as if it's not like warm out. You know what I mean? Like I'm like, ooh, better bundle up. For what? For what? I feel like I missed saying something in my intro and I don't know. Anyway, soft crunch, let's get into it. Mm. I feel like soft grunge really comes from the fact that like I I need a mirror. Oh my god, do a try, a try all the time. Cute. Starting off today with a shade I'm very excited about. This is 107. This is a Jessica Hayes shade from Mob Beauty. I know, I know you're not shocked to hear that actually, but I really like this shade because I it's familiar in a way that I feel like I have been looking for this shade specifically with the cream clays. It already had existed, but I was I was hoping, basically what I was hoping for was that this shade was going to be reminiscent of shades in the past that I had seen. This, am I making sense? And it is, and it is perfectly what I was hoping that it would be. So Jessica, again, fantastic job. I don't, sometimes I'm like, stop being annoying. <laughs> I tag Jessica so much, oh my Lord. But also I'm not not going to because give credit where credit is due. And I said, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's either a meme or something that I've been seeing with that song in it. Because why? Why do I sing it all the time? Comment below if you get, comment below a song that, you get stuck in your head. I really would love to know. It's the most random song stuck in my head. Also, if you want to give this video a thumbs up right now, early on in the video, it should be crazy. Or not, that's up to you. That's clean enough, okay. So I'm gonna take 107 and kind of place it on the lid and kind of bring it out just a little bit. Kind of feather, but I want it to be concentrated on the lid. Ooh, oh, look at that shade. This shade is a shade in like 2016, I wore every single day. That's what it's reminding me of. It's like a perfect kind of like muted version of like orange soda from ABH. I used to wear that every single day. I went through probably three of those single pans. Now it's maybe not a ton, but at some point I think I was like, all right, that's enough. I have to stop. I'm gonna bring it up really high. This is so wonderful. I feel like also, oh, it's so good. This shade is so freaking good. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy to have these kinds of shades in Mob's formula now, just because I just, I feel better when I use like Mob shadows. I don't know, I just feel like less, I don't know, it's clean, but it's good and they perform well. You know I love Mob. God, I'm so rough on these brushes. Woo, I'm gonna take it on the lower lash line as well. Love, 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 love. I'm gonna take another cream clay and I'm just gonna kind of lightly put it in the crease just to give a little bit of definition and a little bit out here. Just like that. Ooh. Love, love, love. Cute, simple, soft. I'm gonna set that really quickly. I'm gonna take that a little bit on the lower lash as well, a tiny bit. And I should hear See, this is what I mean when my skin is sensitive. I like scratch my chin and it's red for like 500 hours. So dramatic. Yet again, I've reached the point of my eyeshadow where I wanna add a little bit of shimmer. Now these feel soft grunge to me. I really, really like how they wear. I love how they look. They are just stunning. I've talked about them time and time again. It's another dose of color shade. Here's the Unicarton, and this is the shade Caffeine Queen, which I think has been pretty popular with them throughout the years. And if I recall, I had one of these many, many moons ago. So I'm excited to have it back in my life. Dose of colors, thank you so much again for this. Oh my God. Oh yeah. Yep. This, that is so gorgeous, dude. Oh, 
And because I like how these apply with a brush, I'm gonna take it with a brush to start. If I need to use my finger, I will, but I just find that they work so well. This is one of the few single shadows that I feel like actually works really well with a brush instead of being like, okay with a brush. I'm gonna pick some up. Oh my God, I'm so excited. And I'm just gonna sweep it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. oh, hold on, I need more. I love the fact that there's like this undertone, like the base color, maybe it might be. How am I wording that? <laughs> I, I think it seems to me that the base color is like a warm brown, but you see how like reflected that like taupe shimmer is? That is a that is a lovely combination. I really enjoy that. I'm gonna bring it up just like a little bit more. Not too much, so like there-ish, because the base is a little bit deeper than what I got going on already. And look, look how it just like edges blend so well. These are so solid. These shadows are so good. Every time I wear one of these single shades from Dose, I get complimented on my makeup. And not just like online when I'm posting stuff and people are in the comments like, oh my God, slay, and I'm like, Period, bestie, thank you. But like IRL, when people are like, I, I really love your eyeshadow. I'm like, thank you so much. It's just colors. <laughs> that is so nice. I'm just gonna try with my finger, but my nails are long right now. Yeah, stunning. Yeah, stunning. But sometimes I just don't want to. I just wanna use a freaking brush. I don't wanna have to like get eyeshadow everywhere. There's makeup everywhere already. So sometimes I just freaking wanna use a brush. Ugh. If you used Caffeine Queen before, you already know. You probably didn't even have to watch this before you were like, oh yeah, I love that one. I I don't know, I feel like it was just so popular and it deserves to be, woo, love. God, I freaking love these, dude. I'm gonna take a little bit of it actually on the lower lash as well. So let me, let me open that again. Again, I'm just gonna pick it up on a brush and just kind of run it right in here. Oh, very softly. Oh, I'm gonna make any more. This is like the warm version of Hot Mesh or like the more brown version of Hot Mesh. Hot Mesh is seriously one of my freaking favorites. Oh my God. Wow, 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 wow. Yep, and I knew that I would. Stunning. I'm gonna take it all the way across, why not? Why not? Yeah. Love. <laughs> now, for liner, because I want to define just a little bit more, I think what I'm going to do is take my rich brown, maybe, to sharpen this. Do I have a sharpener here? Whoa, probably not. Oh, I should. I'm gonna take a little bit of it in the corner. I'm not gonna do a wing because I feel like that takes it to another level, but I'm just gonna kind of take it in the corners right here and around the edge there. And then I'm gonna take a little brush. Where is your board in that? <laughs> Sorry. And I'm just gonna kind of like smudge it a little bit. I really can't like tight line my eyes too often. If I do, it's definitely with these pencils though, I will say that. I'm just gonna have it be like on the outer corner. You know what I mean? Ooh, yeah. A wing makes it a little more angular, which I love a wing, obviously, but soft, soft grunge, my dude. Love these, love these also. I know everyone and their mother, brother, and hamster is talking about this, but honestly, they deserve to be because so good. These, oh, mwah. I love them. Because I cannot help myself, I'm gonna take a little bit of Icy, super lightly, super lightly. And I'm just gonna tap it above like where this blank space is. Staring at the blank space before you put a little glitter on it. Okay, It's a blank page, I think, by the way. Like, just like that. Just so it catches just a little tiny bit. Woo! I like how you can wear these little it's literally magic sticks from Dose. So light or so intense. That's it. That's it. Mm-hmm. Staring at the blank page before you. That song's gonna get stuck in my head now. Combination for mascara today is going to be the Cali Ray and Supernatural. Cali Ray is the Cali Ray mascara come hell or high water. Supernatural is from Melt Cosmetics. This is, I've been wearing this combination, I don't know for how long, but I'm gonna put a ton of mascara on. Okay, mascara is on looking fantastic, honestly. I see so much more of my lashes when I don't have a wing liner on, obviously. I threw on my foundation because I don't know, it's just, yeah. it's just foundation. I did use the House Labs uh, Triclone foundation. I wear the shade 015. It is very fair. It is maybe a shade too fair, but I spent $45 on it, so I'm gonna wear it. I'm gonna use my Milk Makeup Toasted Contour Stick and just kind of contour slightly. But I'm using this one in conjunction with the next item because I feel like it's gonna give a nice like bronzed, soft, soft grunge. Yeah. Going to blend that out fairly quickly. This blends really easily. I've had this same one for so long. It is definitely old. 
but still just oh it's so good but it is very warm on me like I will say as much as it is like a contour shade it is not like super super cool on me it is hard just a lot of the times to find like actual cool tone stuff just because of like undertones and so on and so forth it can be a little tricky it's not as bad as like some brands some brands will be like this is a contour shade I'm like that's straight up bronzer but I do just kind of want to give this a little bit of shape if I wanted it to be more cool tone I would go in with my ritual uh ritual defeat intuition but I did kind of want a little bit of warmth second thing that I'm going to pair with this like my bronzer is going to kind of act as like a bronzer but it ties in I think to the shade of 107 this is m77 it's a cream bronzer from mob i freaking love this stuff so i'm gonna pick it up just lightly and place it higher than i placed that contour and m77 is one that i was not sure that i would really be super into and it turns out i'm obsessed with it m77 is just one of those ones that i knew i would kind of love for being like a warm like almost i keep saying bronzer as a joke because it kind of acts like a, a little bit of a beachy blush on me but it is very much like a throw it on and it kind of looks like i have blush and bronzer on at the same time i don't know it's warm it's golden it's pretty Ooh, it's so stunning and i feel like it makes this very soft very cute i'm just gonna bring it in a little bit too put it on the nose <sighs> Love that a lot. Love that a lot. This is like the warm version, I think, of the soft grunge look that I did before. This feels very warm. I'm going to bring that also right up to my eye, like blend it into my shades that are already there. So it's not like super stark or that there's like a line in between the eyeshadow and the blush. I really want to kind of just like have that. Absolutely obsessed with that. I'm going to set everything really quickly with some translucent powder. There's a part of me that literally just wants to put some brow gel in my brows and not do my spikes. Would that be weird? Would that look strange? I think I might try it. Because again, I think the spikes would just add like an angular element to it. Like it would just take away the softness maybe? I don't know, but I'm gonna try it. I'm just gonna run some tinted brow gel through my brows and make sure that this little end doesn't go down because that pisses me off. I just need to cut those off, honestly. Shave the end a little bit more. It's like these little two hairs eh no i don't know i don't know i don't know it feels wrong <laughs> i'll just do a dainty little spike a soft little spike oh my god yes for the lip i'm gonna go in with m150 i need to sharpen this i can't actually i need a sharpener so bad okay so 159 oh my god freshly sharpened yeah i feel so much better so 159 i want to kind of put like all over love 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 my god i love this lip liner so so much. I'm going to take a little bit of M19, which is very, it's swatched on the back of my hand. It's very warm on me. It's very cute, but I'm just going to kind of tap it in the center like that. It is so warm on me. I don't think it's like meant to be cool in any capacity, but it's very pretty. This is another Jessica shade. And then I'm going to put 149 Balm on top of it just to kind of cool it down a little bit. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Just a little. I don't want to cool it down too much because I could layer a little bit more of that on but i just want to just just a little kick down you know just a little just a little down okay this is my soft grunge part two it is very it's kind of sparkly it's kind of cute it's a little warm it feels like it's kind of leaning into fall like makeup fall makeup i don't really believe that you should only wear fall tones year round i personally love fall tones and winter tones year round i'm not so much into like the pastels and stuff of the spring as you've probably kind of picked up on just uh if you've watched my content or seen my makeup looks in the past that doesn't mean however that you cannot wear pastels like in the fall and stuff like that too i like and appreciate the fact that like seasons in different colors and it's fun i just don't really adhere to that and i think you should just kind of follow the shades that you want but this does feel a little a little autumnal but anyway i just wanted to do another soft grunge look because i was kind of just feeling the vibes today as far as this eyeshadow goes yeah yes again yet again it looks so stunning paired with that new icy thing i just put a little bit of icy above just uh, it's so good these just don't fail me and i feel like they perform they wear so well i know i've said it once in a million times i'll probably say it a lot more dose thank you so much again for these i am so glad to have them back in my life i had worn them i don't know how many years ago that was i i kind of i know i have them somewhere but since like moving a bunch and i think i've moved twice since i had some of those too so it's just hard telling where the original ones are they're definitely expired so 
Again, I'm happy to have this back in my life. Also having that melt liner just like in the corner, just to kind of add a little something something is good. I don't know, just the overall vibe I really enjoy. The lip feels very soft too. I didn't even use black lip liner. Are you shocked? Because I am. But anyway, I hope that you liked another soft grunge look. I know I did because I love these vibes. I love this kind of makeup. It's a more like modernized version of like grunge makeup too. I just want to go ahead and say I do love and appreciate the grunge from the 90s. However, I do get really excited with how makeup is moving and how like where it's going it's just exciting it's fun but anyway thank you so much for being here thank you so much for watching follow me for more makeup and beauty content and i will see you in the next video bye it feels so cozy i love it